Hi everyone, it's me again, Fabiola, and we are back with Junior Time 6. Today we are going to do Unit 8 of your Junior Time 6. So please open your pupils book on page 91. Pupils book, page 91. And our Unit 8, it's about outdoor sports. So take a look at this photo, guys outdoor sports. What can you see in this photo? Where is this man? And what is he doing? So here we can see a photo of a man kayaking. So this is called white water kayaking. Do you like kayaking? Do you frequently go kayaking? Where can we go kayaking? Let's start. So please go to page 92 of your pupil's book. And I would like you to go to the PS portal and listen to CD track 3, 31 track. 31. Listen and look. Okay, so pause this video and listen over there. And we are going to continue to do our exercise number two. Okay, let's look here and we are going to practice a little bit. Listen and look. Number one. Hiking. 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 Repeat. Hiking. Number two. Rock climbing. Rock climbing. Repeat, please. Rock climbing. Number three. Trampolining. 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 Repeat. Trampolining. Number four. Go karting. Go karting. Go karting. Repeat. Go karting. Number five. Rowing. 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 Number six. Canoeing. 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 Number seven. Bodyboarding. 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 Number eight. Windsurfing. 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 Number nine. Snorkeling. 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 Number ten. Scuba diving. Scuba diving. Scuba diving. Okay. So now, what I would like you to do on your book is to match. So number one, take a look at this photo. The boys are hiking, letter D. Number two, what is the girl doing? She is, letter E, rock climbing. Number three, what is the boy doing? Letter I, he is trampolining. Number four, take a look at the photo. They are letter C, go-karting. Number five, what are the boys doing? Letter F, they are rowing, rowing. Number six, the boy is letter B, canoeing. Number seven, what is the boy doing? He is bodyboarding. Number eight, take a look at the photo. Windsurfing. Number nine, the girl is, letter H, snorkeling. And number ten, the little guy over there is, Scuba diving. Where is the scuba diving? Letter G. 
scuba diving. Okay? Now, please, let's pra practice a little bit. So, please go to your activity book on page 74. Okay? Activity book, page 74. And we'll do exercise one. Read and circle the correct words. So, you jump, number one, you jump up and down in this sport. Canoeing, canoeing, snorkeling, or trampolining? Trampolining. This is your first one. You have the example right there. Number two, you do this in a very small car. Go-karting, canoeing, or rowing. You wear special clothes and you do this under the water. You see lots of fish. Hiking, scuba diving, or rowing. So under the water, scuba diving. You do this in the water near the beach. You can see interesting sea plants and animals. So near the water is snorkeling to see plants and animals. Number five. You go for a very long walk for this activity. So very long walks. Hiking. You do both these sports on boats, on water. Rock climbing and go-karting, both not in the water. Windsurfing and bodyboarding, they're not boats. So, canoeing and rowing, both on water. You can do this on a mountain. You use your hands and your feet. So, rock climbing. You do this in the water, but not in the boat. Bodyboarding, trampolining, or canoeing. In the water, but not in the boat. Bodyboarding. You need a board and wind to do this. A board and wind. So, bodyboarding, no. Wind surfing, for sure. Let's check. Okay. So, please check your answers. And the idea here is for us to practice. So please read the exercise once more. And right here on the next exercise, guys, exercise number two, I would like you to complete the sentences, use the words from activity one, and your own ideas. For example, I'd like to go canoeing because it is relaxing. I'd like to go trampolining because it is fun. So you can use your imagination to complete this exercise, okay? Now let's continue on your pupil's book, page 93. Pupil's book, page 93. And I would like you to go to the PS portal and listen to the CD track 3, track 34. So please read and listen. Okay? You're going to read together here. So first, Sam. It was my birthday on Saturday. I went go-karting with my friends. It was really exciting. Sally. I went to the countryside with my family. We didn't go hiking. We went canoeing. Uh, Lola. I went trapped trampolining with my friends at the sports center. Mike, I visited my cousins last weekend. We went to the beach and we went bodyboarding. The water was very cold. So according to this, exercise number six, we have to match the questions and answers. So let's do the exercise. What did Sam do on Saturday? Did Sally go hiking? Did Lola go trampolining? What did Mike do? So, what did Sam do on Saturday? He went go-karting. Did Sally go hiking? No, she didn't. Did Lola go trampolining? Yes, she did. And what did Mike do? He went bodyboarding. So let's check. Very good. 
let's continue here. Um, I would like you to pay attention to this chart, which is focus. So, what did she do last weekend? She went canoeing. They didn't go karting on Sunday. So, right here, we are talking about situations in the past. So, when you ask a question in the past, you use did. And the verb here is do. She went, which is the past of go. Let me show you a picture, which is on the next page. Let me show you, oops, right here. Okay, let me show you. Okay, take a look at this photo. Let me put myself here. So this is the verb to go. Examples in the present. I go to school on weekdays. Remember weekdays? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We go to school on weekdays. I don't go to school every day because I don't go Saturday and Sunday, so I don't. Here we are talking about the present. And my question is, do you go to school every day? Okay, so now changing the person. So if I use he, for example, my brother, my father, I don't know. My brother, for example. He goes to school on weekdays. He doesn't go to school every day. Does he go to school every day? It's a question. So, this is how we form questions, answers, affirmative, negative, in the present using the verb go. Now, let's take a look at the past. So, when we are talking a situation in the past. So, using the verb go, affirmative is I went to school yesterday. So, the verb go, you transform into went, which is a irregular verb. Negative. I didn't go to school last weekend. So, let's compare with the present. Present, we use don't go. In the past, didn't go. Question. Did you go to school yesterday? So, in the present, we use do. In the past, we replace for did to indicate past. Now, if I change the person, if I use the third person singular, he, he went to, so look, it's the same. He didn't go to school last week. Look, it's the same. Did he go to school yesterday? It's the same. So, the good thing about the past is that it's the same form for all people. Okay, so we're not going to change um, this like we do in the present, all right? But we use the verb go in irregular form is went and to make a negative sentence, didn't, and then the verb that you want to use. And in the question, we use did and then the verb, okay? On our next video, we are going to practice a little bit more. So, study please. Okay? See you on the next video. Bye!